<sighs> a lot of people were mad at me and upset because I traded Steph Curry during the offseason for Rondis, Hollis, Jefferson, and a first-round draft pick that I would use to get D'Angelo Russell on my squad. A lot of people did not see the vision. A lot of people did not know what I was doing. But as you guys can see right now, things are coming together pretty well for our squad. We are 5-0 to start the NBA season thus far. We are dominating the competition. Ah man, my team is looking great. So after 2 o'clock in the morning, I decided, you know what, I'm going to just go for a walk. And then I received a phone call from Greg Popovich. Coach Pop called me and he was like, there are several players on the squad complaining. So now I'm like, oh my goodness, here we go with the bullshit. Who is complaining and for what reason? He was like, three specific players are complaining about their role on the squad. Oh my goodness, so now I gotta hop in my car and head back home and get ready for my flight first thing in the morning to San Antonio before the Pelicans game against the San Antonio Spurs. I'm gonna have to meet with these three players and see what's up and see if I could solve this issue. Ah oh man, I really didn't want to leave Los Angeles. I was relaxing, styling and profiling, but nonetheless, the three players that have an issue with their role on the squad are Lonzo Ball, Jamal Murray, and Trey Lyles. All three of these players are complaining that they want to be a starter on the squad. But check this out. I went to contract extensions to see if any one of my players would like a contract extension on the squad. And Trey Lyles decided that he wanted to test free agency. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit him with that grass is greener pitch and see if I could offer him a contract to see how much money would I have to end up paying Trey Lyles in order for him to stay on my squad and look at this BS. He wants a three year $61 million deal in order for him to re-sign with our squad and I'm gonna have to walk away from that. I just cannot give him that money. I mean, looking at all my other player contracts, D'Angelo Russell have to get paid. I wanna re-sign him. I really hope that he decides to re-sign with the squad. I don't have to worry about Josh Jackson for right now, DeAndre Ayton for right now, and Lonzo Ball for right now, but at the same time, they are gonna wanna get paid as well, along with Jamal Murray. So I have a lot of players that I need to re-sign and paying Trey Lyles, 61 million dollars just to come off the bench and he's not really a main staple of the offense off the bench Lonzo Ball and Jamal Murray that's my offense off the bench so I don't really need Trey Lyles so I'm thinking about trading Trey Lyles for like another power forward with an overall between probably 74 and 76 maybe I don't know but for right now I can't trade Trey Lyles because I recently traded for him in the offseason so now I have to wait 34 days before I'm able to trade away Trey Lyles so comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys want me to do should I trade Lonzo Ball, Jamal Murray, Trey Lyles comment 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 in the comment section below and for right now I'm gonna have to deny Lonzo, Jamal and Trey Lyles from being in the starting lineup because I really don't need all three of them in the starting lineup right now and all three of those players were pissed but I ended up using pitches at the end in order for me to you know boost their morale back up to at least 80 or 90 but nonetheless comment in the comment section below and let me know what to do should I trade one of these three players let me know this is the Prince of YouTube signing out let's go pals